What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers for my real hip hop heads. On the left of your screen is a man who embodies the pain, the hurt, and the perseverance of Hell's Roof, better known as Rochester, New York. Ito is not just among the current assemblage of hip hop innovators from upstate New York, he is in fact one of its primary catalysts. This is a man whose music is, diff is a direct result of the abysmal conditions black and brown people have suffered mm -hmm. under for centuries as his lyrics describe his attempt to navigate this wicked environment. I cannot on any level be accused of overstating Ito's importance when the likes of 38 Special, Alchemist, Large Professor, Benny the Butcher, Static Selector, DJ Green Lantern, DJ Muggs, Derringer, and Ransom have all felt compelled to collaborate with this gentleman. If Sorry. a man is to be judged by the company he keeps, then Ito is elite by definition. No, the body no. of hip hop, despite this new resurgence, still lays in ICU in critical condition. But cats yeah, like the man on your screen continue to show up to the scene with defibrillators and Narcan, defying the corporate yeah, structure yeah, yeah, and making this important yeah, culture yeah. all the more difficult to kill. It's a lot of shit you don't know about this prolific king, but after watching this video, you will no longer have any excuse. I say this with 100% seriousness. When you dig into his entire body of work, what you find is a consistent string of incredibly well-curated masterpieces. And yes, I am fully aware of what the fuck the word masterpiece means. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, on the Mike Power Show, I bring you the man who reminds us the new crack era ain't built for soft skin, the prolific producer oh. of some of your favorite classics, and the untarnished street philosopher of Rochester, New York, sometimes known as Ito Brigante. The highly exalted Ito is in the building. Ito, welcome to the Mike Power Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Come on, thank you. you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's an honor to have you on. You've been putting in a lot of work, so this is a big moment for me and the Mike Power Show and everybody watching this right now. I want to get right into it. First of all, how you doing today? Let's get that out the way. Oh, grand old time, man. It's with the folks, man. We grilling. You know what I mean? I see the fam over there munching. That's what's you up. Know, hey, family man. first, family, always, family, always. Family in the background. So let's get right into this. You are a spitter as well as a, a producer. Uh, I always like to get into the process, especially uh, for cats who, who watch me that hope to be where you at one day. Uh, what's your method of production? How do you start with the drums, the melody? It's a groove, man. It's a vibe, you know. Um, I never force it. Um, it's as simple as digging for samples and then just coming across a grand sound, you know, and just loading it up and having your way with it. You know what I mean? You got to own it. You know what I mean? And um, I actually like to create. I play keys and shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But, yeah, man, I, I'm going to be honest, I ain't been as heavy on the production side of things as a recent, but I'm, I'm always producing, but I'm not, you know, it's not a, it's just a dib and dabbing, man. I got to make it a point to always, like, balance that shit, you know what I mean? I can hear people, my subscribers, my family, I can hear them screaming right now, please get back on those boards. We need yeah, that influence. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it, like. Like you see, I just produced my big bro Black G's. Um, oh yeah, Flower City Street Bible One. Um, part two is out. Um, I'm producing Rock America Two and Four with me oh. and my brother Flea Lord. I like that. So yeah, I'm keeping busy, but I'm also dipping. In, I'm doing a lot of shit, so I'll be like, yo, man, you know, it's a balance. I gotta make my way around that shit sometimes. You know what I mean? But Real yeah, talk. I'm still punching the keys around and. I'm still producing too, you know what I mean? Don't sleep. We, I'm on it. Now, the, the beauty of it, that just came out uh, not too long ago. It, May it looks, 15th. It, May 15th, you said? Yeah. Looks like you you moving up on a million streams on that. Congratulations on that, oh, by the way. Yeah, man. You know, and that's the beauty of it, the blessing. Um, I wasn't expecting, I mean, you know, it only gets better, it gets better. I wasn't expecting it to do what it did that quick. You know, the tracks and counts, but 
It came really, overnight. We did like eight hundred thousand streams. You know what I mean? So that's crazy. That fucked me up. You know what I mean? And it's beautiful, man. Yo, shout out the next records, man. Jake and John, Cregan, man. You know, yeah, man. The beauty of it is still moving. I get new followers every day. I'll be like, man, they just now heard of me. I thought they been new, <laughs> but you know. You know how it go, man, but like, yo, long, man, I love it, man. Get new followers, hundreds of them. It's beautiful. Yeah, sometimes it take a while for people to catch on, it, especially because there's so much stuff out there. It used to be a time, especially I think in the early 2000s, the stuff was very difficult to find. Social media, the way the internet work now, if you dig, if you find one good artist and you get down a rabbit hole, that's what I like about y'all uh, collaborating with one another. Because, you know, I started this whole thing with uh, Benny and them. And I just got down this rabbit hole and found all of these incredible lyricists and producers, um, you included. I want to shout to Jay Rios, first of all. Uh, he was the one that, you know. Yeah, that's my bro. Shout out to Jay. Man, he hooked this whole thing up. He's a real stand-up dude. And um, so, you know, there's a, there's a strong uh, movement as far as social justice is concerned in this country and not just America, but uh, around the globe. I, I wanted to talk to you about the relationship between the police and the residents in the hood in, in Rochester. Have y'all had any kind of high profile incidents that y'all needed to address or what's the, what's the environment? What's the, what's the temperature like on the ground dealing with the police in Rochester? I mean, outside of politics, Rochester is Rochester. You know, we the lost borough. New York. Can't nobody ever tell us we not New York. Right. This one's roof over here. Rochester. Buffalo, New York. Upstate New York, period. Um it's been a lot of shit going on. They just tore the Frederick Douglass statue down, you know. Um they've been rioting, looting and all that. I don't agree with people tearing up our communities and shit. I don't get into that shit. You right. know, I stay out of the way, you know what I mean? But I'm going to protect our neighborhoods and shit. But I don't know, man. It's, it's the same shit. It's everywhere else, man. Same shit. Rochester, New Wait, because you was online, right? I get think... busy over here, man. You, was know, you, you, you understand? What, what you on IG letting cats know it, it could go down if they mess around in Rochester? Yeah, yeah, we're not about to allow you coming around the way, tearing up the stores and all that. No, not around always. Yeah, yeah. And my fam told me don't get into that shit, and he was right. I said, you know, I can't because it's a lot bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But, man, let me tell you something, man. It's been a lot cooler now. Ain't nobody looting or nothing, so that's a good thing. Good, good. You Glad know, to hear I, it. I, listen, I don't get into the politics. <laughs> I feel you. I, feel I make you. music, man. I make music and take care of me and mine. So let's know? talk about the music then. So um, I know you're independent right now. Um, New Crack Era. That's a label? New Crack Era is the brand. Okay. We're having a little trouble and shit, you know, with New Era, new few cease and desist and shit. Got you. New era coming for y'all right now. Rebrand. I'm cool with it, but it is what it is, man. Welcome to the business. Right. I'm, and then, I'm still learning. I ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Wrong I'm with not, that. You right. know what I mean? So you independent. Did you, had you ever had a time where you was really, because you've been at it for a long time. Was you going to New York mm -hmm. trying to talk to those labels and get those deals popping off? Or did you always have the independent mind state? It's always been that independent mind, but I also have run-ins with Atlantic, you know, we had listening sessions and what have you, but they, you know, they were seeking something else, and I don't compromise that shit, you know what right. I mean? I love what I do, and that's that's basically it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to, to, to compromise it or, or do anything out of my comfortability. I'm, I'm an artist, though. I could do. I make music. Don't get it twisted, but you know, man. I think we're a lot better off with with the ball in our hands. Oh, real talk. I mean, so mm -hmm. the, the, it's a game where it, this it's smart to diversify in this game. You know, everybody got side hustles, especially these hip hop cats. Do you, do you see yourself branching out in the other areas besides production and spitting? Maybe like fashion, television, movies. Is Definitely. that something? Certainly. Okay. 
You know what I mean? I, 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 before I dive in, man, you know, I'm a, we got to test, test the waters, check the temperature and all that. But yeah. I'm, I'm diving in. I want to tap in on everything right now. Okay. You know so I, I, I interviewed your brother, 38 Special. Great interview. Shout to Spesh. Yeah, um, that's, that's my bro. Yeah. Uh, he, obviously, he speaks very highly of you. He said that y'all was a couple young cats in Rochester coming up together. Um, can you yeah. add some context to your relationship with 38 Special? It's exactly what he told you, man. It's, it's special, special always been like, I don't know if we're the same age. You know, I'm born in 83, so but we damn near neck to neck. So mm -hmm. right and early teenage, 15. Yeah. 14, you know I mean? give or take. Yeah, man, Spesh taught me how to fucking work at NPC 2000. You know what wow. I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yeah, man, you know, like, that's my bro, man. You know, classic history. The Rochester go and he tell you that. But the world knows as well. And they catching on. Shout out to Green Lantern, too. Team Invasion. Real talk. Listen, man, that's, Rochester got a lot to do with, it, with, with, with this shit, too. Shout to Green. You yeah. Know, we, we get counted out same way Buffalo get counted out. That's why we got to... Love West Side Gun and them because they they made it possible to, for Buffalo to mark a stamp. And that's what me and Spesh come in here in Rochester. Did you get a chance to listen to that of uh, uh, Fly Guy 2 that just dropped from West Side, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I caught one. Of yeah, course. Yeah. Of course you know, Gun brought me out in Buffalo a few seasons ago. We did the John Bean the joint and all that. Shout yeah. Out yeah. We, I recorded that at Alchemist Spot. Um, out west with mugs right on the spot that was yeah. a dope night gun had hit out and i was in the building shout to lung nitty uh yeah, yeah. Alchemist. Shout out, shout out to all of them, man. yeah man yeah. and uh the song intro let's just I, I i gotta talk to you about this um it's even special moment for me to even discuss this song with you because it's such a powerful song such a great video um the, the video and song both classic uh we when we think about the video we can see you sitting at the table banging on the NPC. Um, oh, 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 the stabbing shot intro. Yeah, that it right. Respect. Yeah, man. Right. Like, wait, it's, it's funny because my cousin was just playing that shit. I told him, I was like, yo, we're about to go live at seven o'clock. He was like, yo, I'm about to play this shit in the background. Like, he love that shit. Yo, it's crazy because he had it on Spets Channel. It's like 200 something thousand views. I was like, Go to some sushi. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's almost eight hundred thousand views. He ain't know that. I just fucked him up with that. So, a little fun fact for the day. Yeah, shout to Sun Zoo channel. He got all this shit over there. I mean, that, that song is like to me. It's on the level of like they reminisce over you by by Pete Rock and CL Smooth in terms of his impact and a uh, potential longevity. How does it? How does it feel to be a part of a song and a video that you know fifty years from now kids gonna dig up and they gonna understand exactly what you was doing. The song and the video that got that kind of impact. What that? What's that like? Yo, Mike, man, I'm going to tell you off top, man. I wasn't even feeling that beat at first. It's sad. I remember playing it for Spesh one night, and it was two years after I actually did the shit. I never fucked with it. I don't know why. And I, I played it for Spesh, and Spesh was like, that's the one. It was sitting for a minute. And I, I didn't expect it just it, that shit fucked me up. I, I remember seeing them performing. That shit was crazy. <laughs> like, Have you processed how powerful that is? Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I could I get mad at myself because it's a lot of beats I wasn't sure with that I scratched, and I'm like, man, I don't I don't scratch nothing no more. Well, I haven't scratched nothing. Any listen, man. Keep everything. Go back to it. That's refurbish right. that thing. <laughs> I did a lot of reactions on my channel, and one of the things that would happen is I would listen to a song. I didn't like the beat when it came on. I'm like, I don't like this song. But then when I hear the dude spit on it, it breathes new life into yo, the joint. My, yo, my bro Jay Black, man, shout out my brother Jay Black. He do that all the time. He be like, nah, he, I ain't feeling that shit until he hear me on it. And then he be like, man, I should have got on that motherfucker. <laughs> shout out my brother Jay Black. He, he going to see this in a little bit. He going to laugh about it. Yeah, shout to Jay, man. He a beast, especially the voice, man. He crazy yeah, we with coming. it. Now shall kill coming. 
Um, Jay Black, first solo joint is called First Flight Coming, produced entirely by me. We got Dark Low on there. Um, we got Riggs and Mav on there. Ooh. You know, it's coming. It's, oh, you it's, got, you it's got coming. some heavy hitters on there then. Huh? You got some heavy hitters on there. Yeah, man. Yo, shout out to Dark Low. God bless his freedom. Yes. You know, I'm sure they'll work it out. But, um, yeah, it sounded dope, man. Real talk. I, I, Actually, yo, it's a joint on the beauty of it. Um, the the joint, the J Black joint was supposed to be on the first flight, but we use it for the beauty of it. Yeah, and I listened to it once, the the whole album, which is a great album. Um, it, like I said, it's so much. My job is to listen to new shit, so you can imagine I gotta listen to like everybody. But I, I did make sure I listened to that whole joint. Um. And I, I could tell by watching you, especially your freestyles. I watched you do some freestyles in uh, radio stations. Um, I could tell just by watching you that you really love the music. Um, it's not really about it's not about fame for you. You know, it's really about the craft. Did you come up uh, battle rapping or like banging on the on the lunchroom table doing the beats in school stuff like that? Is that how you came up? It was yeah, it was in the household, man. I had my uncle, you know, I had my uncle living upstairs for Mama Love, man. He was, he was the B-boy. Like, yeah, I get, I got had the question asked a lot of times in interviews and shit, man. And pretty much started in the family, you know what I'm saying? I was raised around it. Salsa music, you know what I'm saying? Um, rock music, because my mama, you know, my brother is half, you know, white and all that. Mm -hmm. and my mother had um I just I, I I all type of experiences of music, especially when digging for samples. Like it's it's music you come across you don't even want to sample. Shit be sounding so dope, you know. Do you remember but, a, a, a moment when so, when somebody first said to you, Yo man, you fire as fuck? Uh or, or a moment where you remember that you recognized that you just had a higher skill level than maybe the other spitters that was around you? When did you realize that you had a, had that special gift? Right here in Rochester, New York, man. Mm -hmm. When I seen that every corner in hood, west side, east, north, south, when I seen they all, it was just the support was crazy. Rochester, New York confirmed that for me. So, uh, and, and I imagine that you, you and Spech, it's kind of like heroes on the ground in Rochester. What's what's it like now that you your your name is starting to grow a little bit more? Do people treat you different now when they see you? Nah, not not even man. It's a whole new market here. We got a bunch of young boys that's on the whole new length with this shit. Yeah, you know we we the old we the old head. You know what I'm saying <laughs> to say the least. There's an age here, a new age here. That is 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 taking over, and I love it. My daughter keeps me in tune. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard you talk about that, and we're gonna transition right into that because I know yeah. Upstate Upstate got it's G4 Jag, J, J Black. All these guys is coming out of there. But who are you listening to outside of um, Upstate or outside of New York? It. Yeah. it <laughs> um, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, man. You know, I I, I listen to Griselda, of course, Trust, of course, Us, of course. You know, Shay's my favorite, by the way. Ransom's my brother. I like I like what I've been liking and loving since the '90s. Like, I'm not really into the. The new age shit. My daughter, like I said, like who else? Let me see. Um, Prime Apple. Yeah. You know, Willie the Kid is my brother. Um, Rock Marsky. You know that that you already know that 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 <laughs> market that ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not really into anything else, honestly. The Rome Streets. You know, Daniel's sons. Um, Claws, you know, that's me. That's what I love. That's right. what I listen to. I'm not really into anything else unless it's from the shit I was growing up listening to. Right. Other okay. Other than that, I'm cool. But what was like when me and my lady hit the road and we driving for five, six hours, I, I could do the little, little baby and all that. 
<laughs> for a minute, for a minute, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, so so clearly at some point you was in the streets, and uh, this ain't Vlad or nothing like that, so we won't be naming no names and having cats uh, snitching on themselves, but uh, t talk to me about what started you going in the street life out there. What, what made you choose the streets? What was the conditions like? Wanting to hang out with the boys and when my mom didn't let me. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted to dive right in. I wanted to hang out. She said, I don't want to with them motherfuckers. You better get that, that would make me want to get involved. Hey man, I see you got the expensive beef jerky on deck. You know what I mean? Them shits cost like six dollars yeah, a bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> this is my lady, yo. We do the snack bag real crazy over here, yo. Hey, them shits is expensive, man. Every time <laughs> I go in the corner store, I see them. I can't afford that shit, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you, you dude, get a, you get a whole happy meal for cheaper than that. Though. Huh? She only fought with the teriyaki. I the, I fuck with the original shit, bro. I fuck with the original and the teriyaki. The teriyaki mean though. Well, hey, uh, <laughs> uh, can you recount uh, for me one of the, one of the more I want to say harrowing experiences, circumstances that you faced when you was out on the street? Obviously, no names, but but something that sticks out uh, as a reminder, a cautionary tale that you could pass on to the viewers. Um, something that kind of lets you know maybe this might not be the right move for me. Um. I had called I had called a couple cases of shit. You know we all go through it, but the moment the moment I got on house arrest and made it a point to focus on music because that's the only thing I could do. And at three hours out, I bought my keyboard or beat machine speaking for me. Invest into your dream, man. If that's what you wanna do. Don't let nobody do it for you. Put your money in it. Do what you can to make it work. And don't give up because anybody will tell you. You can ask Spess. You can ask anybody. They'll tell you, little Ito, Ito, been doing this shit since the 90s, early thousands. Never give up. 12, 16 years later, here I am finally making a, a name for myself amongst the the masses. Real talk, yeah. So, Let me ask you about the name Ito, because I've heard a couple different things. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean to cut you off. We are not so love. We, you know what I mean? That, that's, that's my message right there. Just make it happen. Don't wait on it. Do what you got to do. Make it work. And, and that's it. That's the only thing we can do. So the, the I got my fun questions. When I look over here, I'm looking at my fun questions. This stuff right here is like the, the real deal. But Ito... The net, the name, I saw somewhere online, Electronica Techno Orchestra. I seen that. You know I be doing the Googles, man. I gotta do the Googles. I be up and I call the ETO thing that. I'm <laughs> that's not you. That's the, you. You didn't make that up. Not at all, man. I think it's just the. the it's a, a lot of times when I do search my shit because I do. I want to keep up with the stats and shit. Outside of the stat, but yeah. if there's a soccer player popping up, yeah, you know, I saw that too. I'll be peeping that a lot too. But maybe it's because the transition, like, was always little ethel at first. Yep, yep. And we got rid of the little, you know what I'm saying? Why so, you get rid of the you tell, tell the people? I, I read why you got rid of the little. Why don't you tell the people why you did that? Man, you know, grew out, you know, time change, we grow. Grew as an artist, and he just it was a, too much of the little shit, the, the young, and the, you know what I mean. Yes, you know, I was little Etho since I was a teenager. Yeah, you know, in the nineties, you heard. So, yeah. but time changed. You heard. I had to get rid of that little shit. It won't work with me. It right. Couldn't work with me, you know what I mean. I feel you. And now the the you song, know? nothing like you. It, it exemplifies the pain that's a theme throughout your music. The beats ride. The, it has a heavy heart, this beat. Um, let's get right to the point. Where does that pain come from? I'm trying to get deep right now, E. Latika Hemingway, man, she, she touched me with that one, man. When I sent it to her, she sent it back. She was the direction, man, period. There's no other way around it. Like She was the reason of, of that outcome. 
because I knew the best move to do was to send it to her first. Uh -huh. Because I could have went anywhere with it, but I knew she was going to direct it. And I sent it to her, man, and, and I got my prior records with her. If y'all do the Googles, you know, search up Ito and Natika Hemingway. We got a record called Rich Poor. Check it out. It's it's we probably did that in like she's five five, six years ago. But the tick is amazing, man. The okay, but so now now, now I can, you. Yes, I got I got I gotta get into this because this is the one of the main questions I have been wanting to ask, and I'm gonna go back to this question right now. There is Hello. pain. Excuse me, Paul. Hello. Oh, you good? Hello. Yo, grab me a cold one. Pardon me. No, you good. Yo, there's pain throughout your music. A lot of it. Yo, the way you come across is like you carrying a heavy heart. A lot of a lot of the beats, the the way you perform it. It's pain involved. You're showing pain on camera. Your voice is, is exuding pain in your life. Where does that come from? Um, I guess it's all built up. Because I'm in a happy state these days. Right. So maybe it's just a reminder for others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know. I'll never forget where I came from, man. Yeah. For the food million. <laughs> couple hundred. I'm always be the same. We get excited. A lot of well, people... I'll uh, forget. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people came up um, with, with trauma in their life growing up. I know I'm one of those people. I had it kind of rough growing up as a kid. Um, I didn't have it rough, though. That's the difference. Okay. I, had, I had it made. Because, oh, get the cold one, man. I had it made. My mother spoiled me, man. But that, that, but I'm just saying people I relate to that. I didn't have pops around. Yeah, I think, I think, I think when they, when people hear you, they relate to it. If, if even if you didn't go through that, if you didn't have that that tough upbringing, somehow when I listen to your music, I relate to the pain that's in it. You know what I mean? And so sometimes if I if I want to calm down or feel a certain way, or listen to somebody who I feel like they relate to what I'm going through, I might turn on one of your joints because it kind of, like I say, it exemplifies that feeling. That's love, man. I respect that. Um, Rusty Stainless is one of my f favorites. Just, I just wanted right, to yeah, say... Yeah, a lot of people keep telling me, why ain't you drop a verse on that? It's because I, I, I had to have Rome on there. Willie is my brother. Had a great tool coming. Oh, wait till y'all hear this. Produced by V Dawn. It's crazy. V Dawn, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had the great one. The first one. Had the great. Had the great with me and Willie the yeah. kid. Yeah. Okay. Had the two is on the way. Oh, my God. So, honestly, the beat was a little short. I could have easily got it extended and all that. But it felt better to me just doing the hook and let let Rome and, and Willie had the verses, man, because those are two of my favorites right now. Um, I had stated that on Twitter. Shout out to Rule Streets. He's he's one of my favorites, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, and that's why I gave my brother Jay Black a whole song by himself because you know if, if I'm shining or at least attempting to, then we got to, you know, let everyone shine. On, on Guilty Interlude, you say, this is a quote from um, the Guilty Interlude, I'm dealing with the guilt that kills me. Can yeah, you talk man, about... You know, some shit never dies, man. <laughs> okay. Nah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, the song Anybody, I, I think it speaks to, to how wet, widespread the street life has become. It, it makes the point that... Uh, Ain't no tough guys, and anybody could get it. Did the, did the idea from, from that line, that song, come from a specific situation that you felt like you needed to uh, send that message out to certain yeah, people? That, that's, that's, um, that actually came from the skit. Motherfucking, the, the, you know, gang salute. Mm -hmm. That, because I had, I watched the interview, I was like, this is when he got. You know what I mean? When he got on this shit in the interview and got personal about a certain someone in the situation, and I just felt the, 
you know, the genuine and, and, and how serious he was. So I had to make it a point to take a piece of that. And he gave me the idea, honestly. Yeah, Thank and I really. think that's a thing that pe a lot of people need to hear. You know, my father always told me coming up, it's always somebody tougher than you, you know, bigger than you. So, you know, sometimes we out here, we think we can't call. I just, I, I, I appreciated that when I heard it. Um, the song Flower City. Flower City, yeah, man. Man, that's such a smash hit. Um, hood classic. Part one or two? Because part one. I like both of them, but part that's when I first saw you was on Flower City. Oh, I, was it? Because I was messing around with the special and I was going through my, my special rabbit hole. And then this thing popped up and I seen you come on the screen and the voice. You know what I mean? And just the way you did it. Y'all was on that corner, man. Um, yeah. you, so you say, I want to make sure I got the lyrics right because I listened to this thing a million times. Um, you, you ate a blue cake, but it learned me something. You're going to always have to give your attorney something. Um, <laughs> did you have to learn that the hard way? <laughs> Certainly, man. You know, <laughs> um, a lot of stories, man. You know, uh, well, it's a, uh, niggas never had that 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 lawyer money ready. Right. Man, you know what I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up, man. Making all type of phone calls. You know what I mean, yeah. So I know the importance now, man. I've always said like it's never too late. Like it's always too early. You don't want to be the only motherfucker there. You know, I rather show up. You know, in the full house. I know, I know you've been at this a long time. Was there ever a time when you felt like you had to uh, step away from, from rap to make ends meet? Uh, and if that's the case, can you talk about what brought you back? A lot of times, man. Um, until, until I know, until I knew and, and understood that dude, this was it. It was the only, the only option. You know, you, you get with this or you get with that. You got to pick your poison and um, I could be doing a lot of things. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, this was it. This was it right here, man. I knew I knew that after um I had got booked for like eight to ten cities last year. I did Cali, I did shit, Colorado, I did fucking I I, I that's when I knew, like, yeah, that man, was good. they ready to book a nigga, and it's go time. Hey, so uh, back to Flower City, the video, Pudgy's Pizza is in that video. How good is the pizza over at Pudgy's? Well, no, you good. I just got the 5% launch, you heard? The I shit on five percent. Oh hell no! Can you you can't plug it up? Hold on. Go on. We didn't. We we changed those cases real quick. We got the we got the we got the phone plugged up. Now I mean we back. Uh, Pudgy's Pizza. That's in Flower City video. How good is the pizza at Pudgy's? Uh, definitely nine and a half. Nine out out of ten. All right. What about they got wings and, and fries and shit like that too, or what? Yeah, they got they they special the pizza is it though. I'll give it a damn nine. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I, cause I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a chubby dude. I'm a fat dude right now. I'm I'm working to take off the weight, but so when I see food come on the screen. <laughs> man, listen, I've been grilling out since the fourth of July, nine stop. Nah, man, my girl only bought like a pound and a half of of of, of ground beef. I ain't never had less than eight burgers in my belly on 4th of July, so I had to talk to her about that. She gonna get it right next year, though. You know what I mean? Um, you got a lot of people out here rooting for you. I know you probably feel, uh, you feel that in the comment sections on YouTube, Twitter, IG, and all that. Do you go to sleep at night uh, with the weight of Rochester uh, on your back, knowing that people is rooting for you to win like this? Um, yeah, man, not just Rochester, though, bro everywhere else digitally yeah the platform is amazing like my space you know i had it started there you know uk building with i've met beat butcher you know what i'm saying excuse me on my space um v dawn so you know so it's even better online 
but it starts home and, and glad to say that Rochester never let me down. So on um on no reply, uh, <laughs> you let Jay Black have the verses, you produced it and, and handled the chorus. I feel like it takes confidence to let to let another uh lyricist have a whole song like that on a project. What was what was the thing behind uh placing a record like that on that on that album? Well, first and foremost, like me and Black are brothers, like since it's the beginning of the thousands. I'm going to say like 2002, three. I got 17 years in with him. So that it's a must. It's my duty to put him in a position. You know what I'm saying? He'll do the same for me. And I remember telling him, I was like, because that record is, is, is a record I produced for his project, First Flight. And I hit him like, yo, I, I'm going to need no reply for the beauty of it. Just, you know, one point he was like, nah, that's when the first five I was like, yo, trust me, you know, it's a great introduction for you. Boom, boom. And and they need it. And then it worked out great. So it's, 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 I get a lot of um feed on that record alone. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he he killed it. He killed I mean both of y'all. Yeah, and then yeah. um I know you you doing fantastic work on choruses, which you did on Stay Afloat, uh with 38 Spes. That shit hit me yeah, in my I heart. To produce that as well. You know what I'm saying? We shot that video in Buffalo. He had picked me up. And we shot out shot out the Buffalo from here, from Rochester. Um, yeah, I think that shit, that was like about three years ago, I think. Shit. Time flies, man. Man, such a great yeah, I fucking produced song. that record as well. You heard? I, was, yeah. I produced that too. That shit's dope as fuck. Let's talk about... Uh, Ito Brigante, the movie, <laughs> a yeah. short video that is based off the classic Carlitos. Way it's not actually a movie. But they call, but I mean, they call it that on the video, though, right? They call it the movie on the video. I mean, no, it's just it's it's what it is 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 because I don't want it to be perceived as a or perceived as a movie because a, right, it's just basically five music videos ran concurrent. Got you. Um, we shot, it's about 10, eight records on there and about, we shot about five of them and we just put them together because my approach and attempt was for it to be a film, but it pretty much, it's just the music videos to the, to the audio. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So. And you got Angel Salazar. Shout out to Jay. He had brought Chi Chi out. He flew Chi Chi out. We shot shit all five videos in about two days. You know what I'm saying? And he, was in, he was in Carlito's way and Scarface. Definitely. Oh. First, yeah, first, of course, Scarface. He was, um, I wish they would have had him in Carlito's way a little more, but he was in and out real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was that. That's authentic. I like, I like that. I watched that, uh, that video all the time, the the, the first one that you dropped, because you're saying there's eight of them. I only saw the one you rapping, you stand on the corner, Jay is there. No, 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 no. It's about eight records. I got a skit on. It's, it's 11 total, so I got one skit and 10 records, but we only shot like five of them. And that's what you're going to get on the DVD, five videos. Um, That's separate. And we'll have the shirts with them. There'll, it'll be a bundle pack. You got a female DJ, is that correct? DJ Beans? DJ Beans, yes, sir. And DJ she's from Boston, Beans. right? Beans. Uh huh? She's from Boston? She's from Boston. She resides out west. I think that's dope as fuck. You got a female DJ. How did that happen? I was performing out west. Um, I got booked. Oh. Got who or what, but I met her out west, and she happened to hold down the set for me one night because the guy who was behind the set, or I don't know what happened, she ended up holding the set down for me, and that's how that came about. I loved how she handled it, loved how she held it down for me, and she ain't misses it. She's amazing. I love her. Beanie, my sis, shout out to you, baby. I know, yeah, shout out to DJ Beans. I know that. Uh, I saw one of your interviews. You, you spoke about you, you was you was sitting with uh to, with mayhem, and and you talked about uh, DJ Muggs. What is it like to to build with a guy that got such an impressive history like like DJ Muggs? 
Oh, it was dope, man. It was dope. It was a learning experience. Um, it was a a move for me. It was a next level for me. Absolutely. Um, he introduced me to the West, mm. and thanks to him, Duck Sauce and Soul Assassins. When I went out west, man, I wasn't expecting the response from the crowd. And uh, man, they knew every word, man. I was like, wow. I always wanted that shit. Like, I didn't want like to perform as much if they didn't, if I didn't get that certain response. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted them to fucking. Yeah. And that's what I got out west. You know what I'm saying? And it was amazing. You give them the amazing. mic and they say the rest of the line for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got clips on, on my Instagram. It was the first time I ever felt that type of reaction live in person you yeah. know what I mean? and then meaning a lot to me you know what did I'm you, saying? right after that show did you like call your girl like yo they feeling me out here yeah, my girl threw her ass out <laughs> but nah she wasn't there for that one but now nah, I, I do make it a point to involve her um i flew her out a number of times as well i don't i'm not she hasn't made it out west yet but that's we're gonna make it a point to fly her out next time uh, okay, so pissing in bottles. It's a very vivid glimpse into the mind of a man who is frankly drunk off his ass. Is it just yeah. me, or does the beat sound yeah. like it's drunk as well? That, that Now, look, that's the thing. See, Green Landon, Rochester native. Shout out to Bro Green. One of my first tapes I ever dropped was with Team Invasion in, like, 09. Mm. Um, mm. Green Landon hit me. Um, that's like his style of beats these days. He did it on 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 on, on, the, on guns, number six, number seven, mm -hmm. on the Herm, Herman. Um, he's got this warped sound going on. That's what gave me the idea. I was like, yo, the beat sound like it's slurring like a motherfucker, you know, like it's warped and it's all lot of. I loved it. That's what gave me the idea. But the pissing in bottles came after when I started doing the hook. But the whole drunk slurring and just alcoholic groove, the beat set that off. Yeah, man, if y'all ain't heard Pissing in Bottles, go check that joint out. Uh, <laughs> I, I like that concept. When you I first know, I heard... You got animation coming for that, man. I don't want to spill the beans, but fuck it. It's late anyway. It's but exclusive it's shit. We got animation coming for Pissing in Bottles. You heard it first yeah. on the Mike Power Show. Don't forget it. <laughs> hey, you did Valenti and Rizzuto with Nicholas Craven. Um, yeah. he, he been out here making masterpieces. How did y'all connect, and what was the method y'all used to put that project together? Oh, um, man, it would have been great if we would have been present, you know what I'm saying? But it was just via email, simple, you know. Um, I'm going to make it, I told my motherfuckers, I'm going to make it a point to connect whenever we merge because the internet and this email shit, you know. I feel like I've known a lot of these niggas for years, you know. So yeah. That's, that's the beauty of it, but. I just want to be present. I want us to be present next round. And it's going to be hard because a lot of me and mine, my guys can't get to Canada or Toronto and shit like that. So sooner or later, we'll figure it out. But, yo, that piece there, it was bad, man. It was like 90 degrees. It was, I was in the attic at the time. You heard? Wow. It was bad. Like, and every time I connected the fucking fan or some shit, the power cut off. Like, so that time was crazy because i was fucked up at the time we talking two three summers ago got that you know i'm not afraid to say that shit, you know what i'm saying but tables turn when we work but yeah man it was a tough run um recording that it was because of my situation but that's why it turned out the way it did and i was going through situations you know like the joint with Riggs is my favorite one Oh my god, like, yo! And Riggs is a dude that <laughs> people have been telling me about Riggs for about about a month and a half, and that dude lyrically is incredible. I like the I voice too. I records with Riggs from 2011. Wow! Right now, that if I unload, I would have to ask him first. Yo, Riggs, man, I got these old tunes. Let's let him fly. He might not even want to let him fly. These shits is exclusive. 
when he sounds like a baby. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, Riggs is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Math, that's my guy. Um, the cloth period, Mooch, you know, like them guys working Rochester, you know. Um, we got pounds out here. You yeah, know? pounds is crazy. Nims, where's Nims, where's Nims from? Nims is from Long Island. Okay. Oh, no, excuse me, Coney Island. Brooklyn. Excuse me, Nims, don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, now nah, Nims is the, is the, that's my guy. Um. Yeah, man, you know, we got some guys out here in town, man, you know. We got some guys out here. The the, the song Close Your Mouth, it's, it, it sounds like a standout cut to me. Um, that was the first one we leaked, yes. That was the actual first record we let go. That shit go, it, it's so beautiful, and, and you sink into it with, with a heartfelt gangster kind of feel to it. Um, this is where I started thinking about you as a dude that's very introspective. Um, you sound like you spend a lot of time alone figuring things out. Does that describe how you deliberate and move in real life and, and not just musically? As a well, shit, man. I, I said it on Rock America. You know what I'm saying? I, I said, I don't, I don't be with a lot of niggas. I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, man, for the most part, I'll be, I be with me and mine. And, it's, and, 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 and I got the same guys around. Clubbing or bar, I don't do nothing like that, girl. Unless I'm performing, getting booked, and you'll see me at the next gig. Other than that, I don't fuck around. Are you crazy? Right. I'll be chilling. I'll be chilling, man. So one of my um, another one of my my um, not so serious questions over here. I hope you can answer this for me. Um, <laughs> in a street fight, who who would you put your money on? Um, Kimbo Slice or Mike Tyson? Rest in peace, Kimbo. Rest in peace, Kimbo. Man, that's a good one. Um, Street Fight, Bare Knuckles. Wow, man, that is fucking tricky. Um, <laughs> rest in peace, Kimbo, man. He was vicious. Yes, um, yes. Kimbo, you said a street fight. Right? Yep, yeah. Um, you didn't say a boxing. Not in the ring, yeah, out I on the street. Say, say a street fight. But even though we know Tyson, you know, I don't, it's, it's a trick question. Man. I'm not going to um, hold you to that answer because one of these guys is deceased, rest in peace. And one of them, yeah, like, you know, Mike. It's very tricky, but still in all, just because, and I feel like it's ritual and religious, religion to run with Mike. But in a street fight, there ain't no telling. I can't answer that. I don't know, but I'm gonna run with Mike Tyson. <laughs> okay. Hey, young young Anthony Mason or young Charles I'm Oakley. With Mike, though, powers, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not. I can't be mad at you for that. Yeah, I'm gonna run with Mike, though, man. You see, yeah, Mike I still, you still, Mike still in shape right now. Yo, rest in peace, Kimbo. He was vicious. He was yeah. cold blooded. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So what about all right between uh, young Anthony Mason and young, young Charles Oakley? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, shit, we got, you know, like, as far as Rochester go, boxing, sports, period, you know, a lot of people forget we got, you know, Tate Diggs is from here. Art Long is from here. Okay. So, <laughs> Bag, the song Bag is so thorough in terms of the feel. It's got an old school vibe. If y'all ain't heard Bag, go check that out right after y'all watch this. Yeah, um, we shot that video in Orlando. Okay, and you you talk about the, the, the block like it's your woman. I love the concept. Yes, yes, um, yes. You say, she begged me to stay. The mother blocks left me astray. I married her in, in June. The bitch this met me in me. May. Um, and then you talk about breaking up with her or the block. In other words, walking away from all of that. Uh, that's a, it's, a, it's a genius take. Uh, talk to me about the process of writing that joke. Um, Nicholas Crave is very so. So very hard to pick. That one, once I heard it, she begged me to stay. She begged me to stay. Yeah. I said, damn, I don't want to base it on no motherfucker. I love the tune so much. I said, I ain't about to base it on no bitch. Mm-hmm. Hey, <laughs> yo, man. And I should. God damn it. But um, 
Yeah, man, I instantly thought about the streets. Like, you know, that shit is tricky because I'm the one who actually wanted to stay. You know what I'm saying? This around the time where, like, well, I, I was like, okay, I'm done with all this shit. And I haven't looked back. And I've been in the basement making music since. I shit you not. Mm. Guys, everybody. But that, the, that, that gave me the idea. Like I said, just like V-Dom. Like, whenever I hear a beat from him, yeah. he's going to direct me to the outcome. And that's what Nicholas Craig with that would do. Uh, deal with that. If she begged me to stay. Like, yeah, we're going to do it like this. And w- one of my favorite lines of yours is on a joint. Um, what a night with evidence. Um, yeah. Shout to evidence. Bar Shout out to Ed, man. Shout out to Ed. Um, he, he definitely a veteran out here. The the line is, friend of foe, I'm aware of fakeness. I don't play two sides. I don't wear the faces. Very philosophical, in my opinion. How many people? Well, I'm a Gemini. I always tell motherfuckers that. So okay. I'm Gemini without the two faces. Okay. But now, um, man, I was excited, man, when, when Ed hit me for that, man. He hit me like, yo, I need you on this, this record, man. Produced by Muggs. Shit. And send that through, nigga, right now. I want to say I gave it back to him the same day. I'm not mistaken. Okay. Or it might have been the next, but yeah, man, I heard I heard it, and he sent it with his verse on it. So yeah, man, that that's all the energy I need. I mean, it was a go after that. I, I don't even. Oh, they named this shit after the hook out there. But yeah, that record was dope. I don't know what is going on. Or who project is on, but that, that joint is tough. It's out right now. So if y'all watching, go check that out. He doing evidence. What a night. Definitely go check that out. And I, I just, uh, on, a, on a more serious question, how many people have you had to drop off to the side um, on your way to where you are right now? I mean, it's, uh, I think it was. Oh, uh, you know what? This is converse takes place every day with me. Um, it got to the point where, where God start doing it. I don't have to weed them out no more. Because they weeding themselves out. God is showing me he getting them out the way from me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm the I'm the war angel. I nah, think all it, jokes aside, yeah. all jokes aside. Yo, that's the crazy question because um I had to actually cut a few off, man. Pink slip a few off, man. And it's still the same guys around me that's been around. It's, it's always starts with the guys you allow. But the guys I've been around in the monks since day one, we still here, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I think Nipsey Hussle said, rest in peace, Nip, um, on one of his songs, <laughs> The Circle Got Smaller, Everybody Can't Go. You know what I mean? I and, just heard that the other night. Oh, that shit goes so hard. And I was, I was... I can't even talk about Nip right now just because they, they, they fucked me up when the shit happened. You know what I mean? It was it happened so it seemed like it happened so quick out of nowhere. Same thing would happen to you know when Aaliyah passed away and you know I woke up in the middle of the night and MTV was saying that Aaliyah was gone. I couldn't I thought I was dreaming still. So I mean we lose we lose some of the great shout out to Nip. Um rest in peace, brother. Um on to a more fun questions. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. God the damn Xbox, it. Control, Xbox controller, too motherfucking, it's too big. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Damn, people always <laughs> say that, man. I'm an yeah. Xbox dude. It's the controller, man. They got to they got to They got to slim it out a bit, man. Didn't they? Didn't they start making an Xbox controller that was like a, a copy of like a PlayStation? I don't think so, man. You play Call but of Duty? I know that PS Five coming, man. I know that shit coming. My daughter already on my ass about it. You got that? You about to cop it? Man, she better do better. <laughs> she might get it. <laughs> That's my girl. That's what's up, though. Hey, um, let me do another one. Everybody that loves music like you um, got, got guilty pleasure music. I got guilty pleasure music. Um, and I need you to be honest on this one. Very honest. Uh, okay. What is your guilty pleasure white girl pop song that nobody would believe you listen to 
uh Evanescence. Um uh uh the Evanescence song. I listen to that a lot. Because I also sampled the shit too. Okay. Uh, Wake me up. It's called Wake Me Up Inside. That's oh, wait, I'm going to do this. Wake me up inside. I'm not going to do no go. more. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I know the music. Right. I know the music. Right. <laughs> that shit go hard, though. That shit go <laughs> hard, though. <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah. You know yeah. what it is. I know that joint. My That's shit. one of my favorite tunes, man. Yeah, my, my guilty listen, pleasure. I listen, to, I, listen, I listen to 80 Rock, man. Like me and my, like I said, me and my lady, we drive, we drive Jersey, Philly, New York, wherever we drive, and we listen to like '80s rock music. Dude, talk to me about 80s. it. I listen to the '80s rock. I listen to the '80s pop. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that uh fucking the the shit. Pet Shop Boys. You know what I mean? Right. That George Michael shit. Madonna, Borderline. That's my shit right there. Lucky yeah, Star yeah. by Madonna. That's my shit. Genesis like Phil Collins. Oh, That's Genesis. Come on now, top shelf shit like. Yo, that's um, right there. they got the they got Genesis got the joint. The album is called Land of Confusion, but it's also the, the single. And um, damn, what's the? It got the slow jams on there too. Um, oh man, everybody know to state the obvious, but it's a lot of albums. Um, they got man a lot of Chicago. They got about 17, 18 albums. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Journey, you know, you know, foreigner Lou Graham, he from here, he from that's another one from Rochester. Oh, what yeah, people don't know, Lou Graham, foreigner, he's from here. Thank you, foreigner. Here. You cannot, you, know you cannot, uh, understate, you cannot overstate how big foreigner was in like 84, 85, 86 stadium tours, arenas mm -hmm. around the globe. You thought, hey, Duran Duran. You know about I know. That. Listen, I was born in '83, so come early '90s, my you know my folks were still listening to them '80s too. So I was turned on to them regardless. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was on it. We had we had the warm on the 1.3 Casey Case in top 40. Oh, Casey like Case in the top 40. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on coast to yeah. coast, waiting waiting to hear your jam come on. Them was mm -hmm. the days right there, man. Then with that one song that stood number one for a while, and their ass get knocked out sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, crazy shit. That's back when, you know, Billy Ocean Those and them dudes the had the hits. I'm talking like I'm an old man, but you know what? I'm old enough, man, and I remember all that shit. Hey, I'm older than you. I'm older than you, so this is stuff when I was, I was really, had, like, Cindy Lauper shit. You know what I mean? I was very heavy oh, on yeah. Cindy. Oh, yeah, you, you got to keep in mind, like, as far as movies go, like Goonies is top ten. Yeah, so, yeah you a Goonies crazy. dude? I was a Gremlins guy. Yeah, Gremlins see, was before was... Goonies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was on that too, though. Yeah, I was on that. Goonies was my You can't feed a motherfucker after midnight. You know what I mean, yeah. that was the whole. That was the lesson learned from that movie. You know? <laughs> yeah, it mutate on you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you do um. And also, I want to. I'll put it on my note here because I want to cast to know because I just don't give a fuck. My real guilty pleasure, Katy Perry, birthday. That's she's, so, a, she's a baddie. Yeah, absolutely. She's a baddie. She's a baddie. 